Kevin, welcome. Good to see you, CEO there. Good to see you too, Tyler. Thank you so much. So is, is the great res resignation receding at all in the sense that you've got blockbuster job numbers? In other words, people are taking jobs, but I guess you would say that they're also still leaving them. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's a great question, and the uh, the answer really is that, uh, and we partnered with the the answer is that there's still this major backfill, and we're very excited about the 551,000 jobs that were added last month. But if you look at where we were a year ago, right, a year ago, October 2020, we actually added 638,000 jobs. So there were more jobs added last year uh, with no vaccine, no COVID pill, uh, mask mandates everywhere than we had now. Um, so there certainly is, you, you, you got to wonder what's actually happening there. And the answer there, from our perspective, really is this backfill number. And we started tracking this backfill number about four months ago on this show. We started reporting four months ago that it was 40 percent of uh, relative to the new jobs that our recruiter index was seeing. Two months, three months ago, it was 44 uh, percent. Two months ago, last month, it was 50-50 uh, from backfill to new jobs. And this month, it was actually 53%. So 53% of the jobs that our recruiters reported on uh, were really all from backfill. And we partnered up with Revilio Labs to really show the data of the slides that you saw at the beginning uh, of this uh, overall segment to really look so, at where, where are people actually leaving. Let me, just, let me just jump in, if I might, and make sure I'm understanding what you mean by backfill, number one, and, and that seems to suggest to me that you think the job market isn't as healthy as that big headline number would suggest. I assume you mean that backfill are positions that had been cut during the recession and have now been refilled, or what? Explain. No, so, so, uh, excellent. So a backfill is if I am trying to hire 10 people for the company and two people quit, Right, I got to backfill those roles, and maybe backfill is a bad term. We got to change that term. But a backfill is an open role that's already existed. So when someone leaves, if someone resigns a company and they're backfilling that role, uh, that's what we call a backfill role, as opposed to a new job, a brand new job. I see. So, so if so many of the jobs that are be, that are being registered are backfill, then that suggests, doesn't it, that a you've got two things going on at once. You've got people leaving. If it's 50 percent now, you're, you're, you're backfilling half of those jobs are people who've left, and the other half may be new jobs, right? So it's not as good a number as I think. It's, it's not as good a number as, I would, as we would want to see. Let, let's make that a, a better statement. And, and we started to look at, and let's actually break down the number for a second, the leisure and hospitality sector, which really led the way uh, last month with 164,000 jobs. If you looked at the data from our great resignation tracker, that wasn't on there in terms of people leaving those jobs. So those are great because mm -hmm. those are really new jobs that mm -hmm. are really being added. And we, we really believe that that's really the key to really uh, getting the workforce back are those leisure, hospitality, the in-person jobs. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you look at the numbers last year, last year in October 2020, 271,000 jobs were added in the leisure and hospitality sector. So that's 60 percent than last year were done last month in that sector. So we really have to figure out how do we unblock this? How do we make it faster uh, to actually bring on these uh, these people from that were not working, mm -hmm. right? Because these weren't transitions, they weren't backfill. How do we get these people into the workforce faster? Do you have something, uh, uh, Kelly? You know, I mean, it's just... I think interesting to talk about labor force participation as well, quits and all that. How, how different is the jobs market today uh, than it was even just a couple of months ago? The, the filing from the Labor Department itself says that there's fewer people teleworking, fewer people unemployed because of the pandemic, that sort of thing. Yeah, so well, let's look at what our recruiters are saying. They actually reported that the, uh, op that the, uh, the, uh, the workloads were the highest that they've been in months. So they're really at very, very high levels. Uh, we saw a huge jump in in-person roles, again, looking at those hospitality roles that are in-person. So that went from 31 percent to 42 percent in terms of just those overall growth numbers. And then we also saw that the number of applicants per job were also increasing. So that's a really great sign, right? The sentiment was up. The candidate sentiment was up. People want to get back to work. And we have to uh, attribute some of that rehiring uh, back to the, the end of stimulus or other sort of headwinds mm -hmm. that were getting in the way of going back to the workforce.